Hey guys, this is the second part of a tent video I'm making where I'm looking at the tent that's in the six piece camping combo made by Ozark Trail. Here's another look at the box. Six piece camping combo. And there's the tent, that's what I'm looking at here. I actually wasn't here during the worst part of the storm so I don't get that on camera, but I can show you how the tent did. It says weather tested. I'm doing my own weather test. Tropical Storm Lara is on its way. I'm gonna check the rain gauge so far. Looks like we're just shy of half an inch right there. Now let's look inside the tent and take a peek in because when I open that door, when I open the door, the rain drips in, so maybe do that get the door knocked off of it or the water knocked off of it well i'll just peel this corner up and take a peek in there and from what i can see it's dry in there well nope right here there's water in there looks like it may have came from that corner over there but it didn't look like it leaked from the top. It looks like it's leaking from the bottom, from the ground. Well, because uh, I saw this water in here, I'm going to come over here and look at it. When I look at the floor, though, most of the floor is dry. So I don't know if it's running down the sides and running down in there. A little bit of water right here dripping in so it's had the two tenths of an inch and almost a half an inch so far and there is a little bit of water but not bad and the way that water is just in that corner down there makes you wonder if it's just coming in somehow through the zipper hitting the floor right there and running in because this corner here is where all the water is and it doesn't appear to be sitting in uh it's not sitting in water freestanding water one other idea i have about the water coming in is the water could be running down the side of this tent right here it could be catching right here in this groove on the bottom because the way this is the water is just going to kind of catch right there and just soaking in. I don't know how you would, you almost need a stake or something to be able to pull this down flat to where that water would run down. Just, um, just got back from the grocery store. While we were there, we got a pretty good part of the storm hit. The wind was shaking our car a little bit. And look what happened to the tent. It did not survive the wind. You can see now there's water on the ground. The rain gauge is over one and a half inches now. Like I say, that wind was shaking the car. I hope the tent is not ruined. So that tent, I know I've got rain on my, my GoPro here. It's got these hinges right here, and that's what makes it a quick setup. The poles are still good, but those hinges buckled in on each other. Let's see what it looks like on the inside now. There's a lot of water in here. In that corner over there, there's a ton of water. However, with that roof buckled in, it could have just been pouring right in the rain fly. 
water there water there so it surely didn't survive that I know you can't see, but the good news is the tent is still good. The, right, the wind didn't run the tent, but it's wet on the inside. All right, I'm out here the next day after tropical storm Laura blew through. Looks like the tent has caved in again. I didn't think we got much more wind, but apparently we did. Of course, it's a little bit windy right now. Total rain, just over two inches. I had two tenths of an inch from the first day and I had poured that out, so. See if I can get it to pop back up. Yep, so the tent is not ruined again. I bet because it collapsed, there's gonna be a lot of water on the inside of it. And of course there is a lot of water, but with it being caved in, I'm sure it just ran right in under that rain fly. So for light rain, maybe if there was only like a 20, 30% chance short weekend, I think this tent would pass. But if I was gonna stay a whole week and expected a lot of rain and wind, I might not take this tent. Thanks for watching.